Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Takanori Furusho. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to John for uh, inviting this meeting. Very excellent. And uh, also, congratulations with 100. Uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, just 20 first year this year, but we don't have a hundred yet, maybe uh, 50 or 60, something like that. But hundred is very honors, you know. And uh, it is a, a very good team in the links and also uh, use our uh, links uh, to understanding each other and uh, it's making a good meeting. Uh, excellent. Thank you very much anyway. So uh, i like to have a presentation today, uh, three uh, Agendas, but before doing, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Takanori Furusho, uh, working with JPX, just Mark could say, uh, now 14 years right now. I used to work in a, a UK company, a uh, very young age. Uh, it's called Wheelet. It's already they sold company. Uh, it was uh, Kobe in UK, a uh, very countryside, and uh, they are. Uh, manufacturing inkjet service in the wa worldwide, and they do have a, a how do you say many uh, branches in the, uh, everywhere. And uh, I was working in the Japan office, but it's you know it's closed right now. And competitor was Lynx inkjet printers, so <laughs> it's very funny, you know. Uh, then I uh, was working uh, ISP in Tokyo, and uh, one day my friends. Uh, asking me to join to JPIX. Uh, he was used to working at KDDI, and he told me uh, we liked more expanding a business in Japan, so uh, I was very uh, honored to join to JPIX. Now I'm happy to do that. And that friend has already left our company, but uh, uh, we still have a good friendship, and uh, it's a very good chance to go everywhere about in, uh, IXP. Uh, you know, uh, it's, how to say, uh, exciting business. And uh, my uh, duty is uh, uh, mainly sales, but I'm doing uh, everything because we are a very small company, so uh, care about uh, customers and uh, thinking about new service. And also I'm doing uh, other activities, uh, uh, member of the APIX. Uh, I'm doing, uh, you know, uh, organization too. and. Last year, we do have a PR engagement in Kyoto. Uh, it is uh, basically, uh, we do not have open PR event in Asia. So uh, like a GPF, EPF, you know, uh, Asia also have to do that. So we decided to uh, set up meeting last year. And I was a me uh, member of the Australian community. And also, next one, this year, uh, I'm also a member of uh, PR communities. And tomorrow, we'll be deciding where we are next one, maybe Hong Kong or Seoul, but we didn't decide yet. But tomorrow morning, uh, whole AM London time, I have to uh, join in a telephone you know, conference, and we're deciding a, a schedule and a city. It's going to be the autumn in this year. And uh, today's agenda, uh, I have three. Uh, one is uh, uh, what the, we are, like a service and activity. And uh, also, I like to introduce our user who's connecting our links right, from last year. And the uh, third one is final, what we thinking next step. Okay? And uh, I made a lot of documentation this time, so uh, I'm quick to talk today. But later, maybe you can download my, my file, right? So, uh, checking out later again. But I try to explain it some more, uh, how do you say, uh, deeply. And please understand my English, not, maybe not so perfect, but I'm trying to best, okay? Okay, a uh, little bit talking about Japan. Uh, I think everybody knows where is Japan, but it's very far away, uh, Far East countries. Uh, you know, uh, it's over the maybe 9,000 kilometer straight line. It's very far away, and uh, time difference is uh, nine hours ahead from here. And uh, Japan has uh, eight regions, and uh, also 47 uh, prefectures. And uh, point I like to I like to explain is is uh, uh, number of the broadband uh, broadband users. Uh, it's 
very many, and, uh, but traffic is very small, smaller than maybe links. We just take a, a nine tera right now. This uh, figure from the government, uh, end of February, they will update a new one. Uh, I have already have received information, it's over 10 tera right now, but still very small. Uh, I don't know why we're calculating uh, maybe mistake or I don't know, but uh, we, Japan is a very small uh, traffic exchange. I do not think so, but uh, government say that. And this is a page of the government. Uh, I just copied in a slide, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry about uh, you know, everything Japanese, so I just put in the English. Uh, Right circle is, is a broadband uh, traffic. Maximum is in nine, nine tera right now. And, but traffic is going, growing, growing up these few years, within few years. 39% uh, is uh, growing up from last year. It means uh, everybody watching a streaming by like a smartphone, tablet, you know. So now we are very uh, interesting about uh, streaming. And uh, I like to everybody to understanding to Japan is uh, very long, and those three major city is a uh, uh, many population in Japan. So why I'm trying to say explain this one is uh, still uh, Japan is controlling by Tokyo city, and uh, next is the uh, next major city is Osaka and Nagoya. So this three major cities is a, you know, whole of like a, uh, maybe 40, over 40% internet traffic is a, this city uh, from that. And also uh, landing station. Sorry, I, I can actually hear. For US, we have a lot of cables, but going to Asia, not so much. And uh, to Russia and Korea, no, only just two cables. And this point is, uh, it's Kyushu region, and uh, it's called Miyazaki. And point is, you know, looks like a landing station, but it's not going to inside, just pass to Tokyo. So I'm trying to say, this circle is, this circle and uh, this area is the same thing. So, Landing station and the big cities, same areas. So what I'm going to say, uh, internet traffic and also transit cost is very cheap is at this circle. But without the circle, very, very expensive. That's his point through uh, view. So uh, I'm going to talking about uh, uh, our service. And uh, as I say, uh, we are 21st year this year established 1997 July, and we set up the building, uh, first building, uh, KDDI Otemachi Bell. It's uh, same name, another name is uh, Telehouse Tokyo, but it's not popular in Telehouse name in Japan, so, uh, you know, we don't use Telehouse in Tokyo, but a lot of Telehouse data center is in Japan. <laughs> it's very funny, isn't it? <laughs> And uh, company profile, uh, we are very neutral uh, service company, so uh, we ask to uh, ISP to this kind of business how many people support for this. Now, uh, our shareholder is KDDI, and uh, Broadband Tower, SoftBank, uh, Sonet, the Big Group, which is blah, blah, blah. Uh, very funny is that KDDI and the SoftBank is competed as a uh, telecom company in Japan. But that, you know, uh, they understanding IX business very important in Japan, so they supporting us, still supporting from the established. And we are a member of the APIX and also EuroIX Association member, almost 10 years right now. And uh, this is a... Uh, uh, slide for service, uh, same as another, you know, IXP. Uh, we providing a, a gigapole 10G hundred. And also uh, we giving a portal site for users, all of users. 
And uh, router server two and traffic viewer is a monitoring system for traffic. And we reporting uh, uh, graphical and uh, each A's, each I, uh, IP address, everything uh, on the graph right now. So the user can to how many you know percentage they are using right now. And this portal is uh, uh, Japanese and English both available right now. And uh, our site in Japan, uh, we have a uh, uh, Tokyo Metropolitan and Osaka and Nagoya. As I just say, you know, very important cities are these three major uh, big cities in Japan. And we do have a pop in there. And in Tokyo, we have uh, five sites and uh, three uh, local pop sites. Uh, local pop site means we don't have a switch at there, but do, they do have a patch panel to connecting uh, our site. So that means uh, we do have uh, eight collocation available to connecting uh, JPIX in Tokyo. And we have uh, three uh, Osaka uh, data centers, and Nagoya and Okinawa. And <coughs> yes, uh, I'm trying to say, uh, Tokyo to Nagoya is a uh, 265 kilometer distance, and Nagoya to uh, Osaka is 139. So Tokyo and uh, Osaka is about 500 kilometer distance. And uh, Okinawa is uh, uh, like island in Japan, and uh, uh, 1,600 kilometer distance. We connecting uh, to uh, Tenji port, uh, T uh, Tenji uh, list line. And uh, Okinawa is like uh, same as Hawaii, a uh, very hot place in the Japan. And uh, it's very close to the uh, Taipei and the Hong Kong. Uh, it's, I think, nearly this area. And uh, they do have a, a line to Singapore, Taiwan, Hong Kong. So maybe next future, uh, Okinawa will be another hub in Japan, I mean, Asia. So we are uh, thinking to connecting uh, Okinawa is, you know, uh, trying to be good to internet quality to Okinawa people. And maybe future we connecting uh, Hong Kong, Taipei, Singapore from Okinawa. That's another business plan right now. And this is uh, our network topology. Uh, blue line is uh, Tokyo Metropolitan and uh, orange is uh, Osaka. Osaka is the uh, west side of Japan. And Nagoya is, as I just say, uh, middle of Tokyo and Osaka. And a very unique city. Uh, they can choice Tokyo segment or Osaka segment. We have uh, making a, a in the invitation uh, different segment to Tokyo and Osaka for redundancy. So uh, it's complete uh, different IP address. But Nagoya user able to choose which one we want to go. Of course, they can use both. Right. Yes. And also very interesting about our uh, operation system. Uh, we do using an uh, uh, optical switch uh, front of the each switch. So uh, means user uh, connecting us optical switch first, and we do have a standby active uh, switch. So if we make a, like a down uh, active switch, automatically uh, shift uh, to the standby switch. So it means uh, we trying to no stopping service uh, whoever, but it's machine, so <laughs> sometimes it's not going that. But we trying to be more, you know, uh, stopping time is making smaller. Uh, because uh, government say, uh, do not stop in uh, one and a half hours. So we have to uh, clear about that you know, task. Uh, if we lost in this task, they will give me uh, letters. So if we get the three letters, we can't business continues anymore. So it's very hard regulation in Japan. And this is good thing is uh, like uh, uh, updating uh, OS. Yeah, like uh, standby, uh, we should do, you know, updating uh, like a patch and the OS. And uh, when we have a maintenance, we just automatically shift down to the uh, active to standby. And the customer never know, you know, it's linked down. Yes. Uh, 
because it never linked down the、uh, this system. And also,、uh, 24 hours, 30, 65 days, we are monitoring、uh, by person. And、uh, we do have a meeting、uh, twice a year in Nagoya and Osaka. So that means whole meeting in the year,、uh, same as links. But、uh, Nagoya and Osaka is very small than the Tokyo, so、uh, more, you know, more competitive, small meeting in the,、uh, Nagoya and Osaka. But Tokyo is very big uh, meeting. Uh, like the、uh, same as you know,、uh, audience, over 200 people is attending our meeting too. Yes, and uh, also uh, we're providing a BGP seminar to our all of users,、uh, maybe eight or ten times to、uh, users, and very、uh, usable price,、uh, maybe、uh, 10、uh, pounds for one time.、Uh, it's very cheap. And,、uh, Teaching to the,、uh, how to set up the you know, peering and also、uh, cable seminar.、Uh, you know,、uh, how to、uh, cabling a lag, how to calculate a temperature, or you know, something need, need to understand how to use data centers.、Uh, we provide in that kind of seminar in the year. And also, we are starting a, a providing service to user to users.、Uh, some people are using a, a, you know, a, like a transit, and they want to buy a transit on the IX. So we're giving a, a VLAN service to them, and sometimes we're handling to selling to transit too. And also, we're just starting a, a cloud connection.、Uh, we're connecting a, a AWS, Azure. And、uh, who want to use that kind of system,、uh, we'll give to the VLAN service to that on IEX. I think,、uh, you know, worldwide, everybody is doing like this same thing. So、uh, that is uh, uh, our, you know,、uh, activity in Japan right now.、And、can I co continue? Or,、uh, it's okay, all right. So、uh, I'd like to introduce our members. Uh, it's very shy.、Uh, we, we only just have a 172 ACE number right now.、Uh, Lynx is over 800 right now. So、uh, we are a very small company at the moment. But、uh, we're keeping in touch. <laughs> so、uh, we're trying to keep our local traffic. 75% is Japanese users,、uh, 25% from the overseas. Uh, mostly, US is a major one. But uh, uh, BT uh, connecting this last year, and uh, many uh, Chinese uh, ISP connecting last year to beginning of this year. So it's going, growing up to over international、uh, peers too. And uh, we are uh, most uh, oldish IXP in Japan. so Uh, many you know, ISP are using a、uh, uh, long time to use JPIX, and also、uh, many new,、uh, like a OTT from US. And、uh, we're trying to make a balance, you know,、uh, because only access ISP are、uh, pairing no means, and they need OTT. And OTT needs access provider. So we're trying to We cannot say half and half, but、uh, we're trying to make a balance. So now I think、uh, balance is very good at this moment.、Uh, many、uh, local ISP, access ISP is、uh, joining our IEX, and、uh, many OTT people is coming to JPX too. So it's good balancing right now. And uh, today uh, I'd like to just one user to introduce to. Everybody,、uh, they're using、uh, our service from the、uh, beginning and、uh, they're connecting our links last year. It's uh, uh, K Opticom, uh, AS17511. And some people already peering to them.、Uh, I'd like to just explain quick to what is、uh, K Opticom.、Uh, they are a power supply company.、Uh, they are Group of the power supply company in Kansai. 
Kansai means a uh, uh, west of Japan. Uh, locally is uh, Osaka uh, company, and they also are uh, providing uh, fibers, ISP access providing, and the uh, data centers and the mobile service. And area is just small, uh, just you know Osaka areas, but. Uh, oops. Services are many things, you know. Uh, this is FTTH uh, to the home, and uh, also they starting a, a mobile and data center VLAN for the enterprise. So uh, it's very huge traffic right now. Uh, they say uh, one tera is exchange traffic in the day. And also, uh, they are very unique to uh, getting uh, internet. Uh, they're using uh, our IEX and also major provider, local providers in Japan, and expanding uh, overseas their sell. Uh, first of all, they're going to the United States uh, West Coast, connecting uh, any two. And after that, they are going to Europe and uh, connecting uh, links right now, but they're doing, using uh, ARMS and uh, DEX too. And uh, last year, uh, they connecting uh, HK, IEX, and SGIX. Uh, so uh, it's very, uh, how do you say, special. Not you know usual uh, Japanese ISP is going to outside. Many uh, international carrier, you know, in Japan, they going to outside and uh, getting uh, internet routing. But uh, like uh, this K Opticom, just you know. Uh, business is only Kansai area, very small, but they getting to the overseas. Why they doing like that? Because transit cost is very expensive in Japan. Uh, like, uh, you know, going outside to get uh, peering is much more cheaper. It's very interesting. Uh, this is a peering database of K-Opticom. So uh, please, uh, if you're interested, in, uh, email to them. Their peering policies are selectable, but why they are selectable means uh, you know bandage. Uh, they have to you know calculate before peering. So uh, frank honesty, their peering policies are open, but they have to calculate before you know negotiation. So just sending se selectable, but please. Uh, feel to email to them if you're interested. Yes, and uh, they are connecting uh, uh, another major IX in Japan to uh, our competitor too. But uh, they doing a uh, uh, good friendship in talk, uh, JPIX because they are one of our supporter too. So they using a uh, hundred G uh, double in Tokyo JPIX and uh, twenty. 10 times to 10 in the Osaka right now. It's gonna be the upgrade soon. And finally, finally, I like to uh, to uh, my, our uh, new project uh, introduce you. One is a uh, uh, collaboration with the Overseas IXP. Why I'm here because uh, I like to uh, business collaboration with Links near future. Uh, so the why I came here, uh, it's either uh, same as K-Opticum, some user want to go to outside uh, to connecting uh, uh, another IEX. We like to support for that. And uh, to, I, I just say response to customer request is uh, you know, good communication uh, with a popular site. And uh, additional cost is difficult. So that's me. Uh, they wanna, you know, high quality peering, you know, uh, making one hop or maybe you know, uh, good relationship, late, uh, making a short latency. But they don't wanna pay a lot because uh, transit cost is very expensive in Japan. So they wanna saving the money to get outside, and uh, that means uh, you know uh, we like to support for them too. So, uh, but uh, that challenge is very difficult to, you know, going outside. First of all, uh, choice right IXP, you know. K-Opticom is 
very good choice in uh, you know links, but nobody knows links yet in Japan. So uh, we like to teach them, and uh, it's very difficult to get the uh, uh, international line. And also, if you go in the outside, you, they have to think about the local, you know, uh, loop fee and uh, how to order to DC connections and uh, legal confirmation. Uh, they have to understanding a uh, uh, legal contract, uh, contract with you know another IEX, and uh, each country have a different contract, so they have to understand that. And uh, also, it's myself too, uh, language barriers. Uh, everything uh, not uh, English, so they have to understand English, uh, language too. And finally, uh, exchange rate. Uh, you know, uh, if you're using uh, overseas uh, service, they have to, they are can currently, like a pound, dollars, maybe, you know, another, you know, euros, they have to uh, pay another currency. So it's, they have to uh, risk how much is uh, you know exchange rate? So this is very uh, negative thing. But uh, we like to support our user to invite another EXP near future because I think we can do it, and uh, we like to connecting uh, uh, another EXP and uh, good you know business scheme to them, and. Uh, uh, if we connecting another EX, we can give to, you know, like a VLAN to them. They have to not thinking about the uh, international circuit and uh, English barriers. And uh, we give it in an uh, invoice in Japanese yen, so they doesn't care about the uh, exchange rate too. So uh, I'm trying to make uh, this kind of, you know, uh, scheme to them. Uh, means no major risk when they start up. If they start up maybe a uh, couple of years, we, they can graduate our service doing their sale. But first step, maybe uh, we should support for them. And uh, finally, uh, just making a diagraph, uh, JPX connecting links maybe. Uh, and also, uh, we are using a telehouse in the Tokyo. And many telehouse in the world, they have a, a major XP in the world. So I, maybe we can do that kind of system too. KDDI and the telehouse. And it's good for the, our users. And uh, peering to uh, like uh, links people, it's good for the you know, connection to Japan too. And this is a uh, one step solution to our users. Sorry, time is right. And the final, uh, i like to just introduce our uh, test last year with uh, NHK. NHK is a, a Japanese national broadcast, like a BCC, BBC. Uh, we do have a, a sports uh, championship. It's called uh, Grand Prix of Figure Skating 2070 in Osaka. And uh, it's NHK Cup. And uh, NHK Labo asked to us to testing uh, Multicast uh, service in uh, testing via IX. So we did uh, this kind of test last year. And uh, we uh, KDDI supporting for access network. Just examination the graph. Okay, uh, Japan. And that figure is uh, in Osaka City. So uh, broadcast going to the uh, satellite to upload, and uh, satellite going to download to users. And same time, it's going to the uh, broadcast uh, center, and it's going by cable too, and uh, watching a TV. And uh, they testing a, a 4K and 8K video streaming. And uh, we trying to do Osaka City to uh, NHK Tokyo uh, by this line to our pop in Tokyo, uh, it's uh, Telehouse Tokyo, uh, by Unicast. And uh, NHK Labo uh, make up a uh, uh, conversion, converse, converse system, and uh, they put in our lock front of IEX, 
and uh, changing to multicast and sending to the KDDI access line to watching a TV. Uh, it's, it's not, you know, service, it's testing. So uh, it's uh, just only NHK and KDDI and JPX, three uh, players doing that. And same time, we're going to uh, sending Osaka, I just say to before, uh, five kilometer distance to Tokyo and Osaka. Uh, we give to IX Osaka and uh, we're using uh, FTT access in Osaka too and uh, watching TV with uh, STV box. And it was successful. Uh, sorry, I can't show in the you know, image, but it was successful, very good. And uh, uh, it's better than the uh, satellite system to uh, watching the by FTTH. Uh, they say, uh, like a satellite is, uh, uh, they have to think about the weather. If you have a deep crowding, uh, it's going down right to latency and the heavy rainy, sometimes cannot receive it. But uh, if sending by FTTH, it's much more good quality to them. Uh, latency is very good, they say that. And also, we uh, put in the uh, cable, STB, to direct to, uh, uh, without the STB, uh, direct to connecting Android TV, it was successful in the upgrade. So uh, maybe in near future, we can do this, but we have to uh, sort out about the regulation in Japan. Uh, we don't, you know, broadcasting live on the internet yet. So, uh, in the future, maybe uh, player is going to change in the IEX. Uh, links people already change it, but not Japan right now. Uh, we're thinking about maybe uh, enterprise is uh, connecting a broadcast companies. So that's all. Thank you very much for time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Is that okay? Do, do we have any questions? Yes. So, is this multiple separate lands or are they bridged? Can people in Tokyo peer with people in Okinawa or are they kept uh, diverse? To Tokyo and Okinawa is uh, connecting a Tokyo segment, not Osaka. Okay, so okay. Osaka and Tokyo, there's no bridge between them? No, no bridge yet. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.